by the United States Marine Fife and the Drum Corps. Hello, everyone. Today we are in Minuteman National Park, located just 22 miles outside of Boston in Concord, Massachusetts. Actually, the park encompasses 970 acres in and around the towns of Lexington, Lincoln, and Concord. We visited the Minuteman Park from the North Bridge location in Concord after visiting the Battle Green in Lexington earlier in the day. The Battle Green is a much smaller area to commemorate the spot where the first blood was spilt in the dispute with Great Britain, as recorded by George Washington at the time. Here, 77 Minutemen confronted the British and eight lost their lives in the encounter. But now we are in Minutemen National Park, a park that commemorates the opening battles of the American Revolution on April 19, 1775. This park is rich with both history and nature and a great getaway from the city of Boston. There are hiking trails here and plenty of monuments to remember the battle that took place here. You will walk the same trail the British Redcoats walked on and died on and you will see the spot where Paul Revere was captured. And if you've ever heard the expression, the shot that was heard round the world, this is where that took place as well, the beginnings of the American Revolution. How do you do this? Please turn me till the message plays. There are many sights to see here, including the North Bridge, where on April 19th, 1775, the colonists fired back at the British troops for the first time, and that was immortalized by Ralph Waldo Emerson as the shot heard round the world. There are many statues and memorials in Minuteman National Park. There is the Minuteman Statue of 1874, as well as the Obelisk Monument, which is believed to be the country's first memorial to its war casualties. There are also some graves where soldiers are buried. If you want to follow the Battle Road Trail, it's a five-mile hike with signage showing the various skirmishes between the British Redcoats and the Colonial Militia. On this hike, you will see the site where Paul Revere was captured. The main visitor center has a 25-minute multimedia show called The Road to Revolution. The visitor center at the North Bridge location has an eight-minute film as well. There are ranger programs offered, but check with the park's website for current information. You can get here by car or tour bus. One tour we saw when we were here was the Liberty Ride Trolley, which offers tours to many of the historic sites in and around Boston. This park is definitely a nice breakaway from the city of Boston, so if you're visiting for more than a day or so, you should consider visiting this park. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to help my channel grow. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Bye.